Welcome back, guys, to another short online tutorial. My name is Jack, one of the tutors at Blue Sky Graphics. And as always, I'm so glad in seeing you here today. The reason why we're here today, guys, is to discuss the 3D tool within Illustrator. And what I want to do today is show you how you can build a very simple illustration of 3D sushi, just simply using some shapes and using the 3D tool within Illustrator. After the latest uh, update on the uh, software, they've really added some real cool features um, that we can play with uh, in the 3D tool. And I've got an example in front of you here, just to show you what I mean and what I feel like I want to build today. Okay, so on the other tab here, what I've got is the flat images of what I created earlier. I use shapes, a bit of the pathfinder and rounding off the corners. Very, very simple shapes for you to create. But now let's let's look to apply the 3D effect to start to really jazz up these uh, illustrations. So what I'm going to do first of all is let's select the left one. Just going to make sure this is all uh, grouped up by pressing Command G on the Mac or Control G on Windows. Fantastic. And with that selected, what I'm going to do now is go to Effects, and you can see we now we have 3D and Materials. So I'm going to say here, three uh, extrude and bevel. Actually, that is the wrong option I'd be using. Uh, I would be wanting to use inflate. There you go. And with the inflate option, we have certain preset rotation angles, options here for us to use. And what I want to use is I want to use isometric top, like so. So as you can see already, it's starting to take shape, okay? We have the depth here, which we can increase or decrease. I'd say probably about that's a bit fine there. I'd say, yeah, lovely. And what I want to do here is manipulate the volume as well. Let's bring it down probably about sort of about there, I'd say. Okay. It's really starting to take shape already. Then what I'm going to do is render our image here, right? And apply the ray tracing. As you can see, after the ray tracing has been applied, it looks a little bit more realistic, doesn't it? Straight away. Okay. Then what I'm going to do now is come to materials. And I'm going to change the roughness option to 0.13. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go to lighting at the top here. So you can see all the, th all the wonderful things that you can do with this 3D tool. Okay. Now, I'm going to affect these numbers here a little bit, okay? So we're going to keep this at 70. The rotation, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in minus 63. We've got the softness here. We're going to keep higher to 45. We're going to change the softness here to 55. Like so, perfect. And we also have a shadows option on our um, shape here, okay? So if we turn that on, Right, and then what I'm going to do now is affect the um, shadowing, okay? And what I want to do now is affect the shadow bounds here. So now if I was to come here and type in 295, that should be sufficient enough. It takes a little bit of time for Illustrator to uh, render your image, as you can see here, it's giving us a uh, progress bar. It doesn't take long, and what happens is you get a real, real impressive effect with this tool, okay? And as you can see, not I didn't do much there, and we've really got a cool-looking 3D element, simply using 3D and materials. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this circle here for a bit of wasabi, so let's put that about there for the minute, okay? And now let's do the exact same thing with the other thing, the other sushi that I created. Yet again, we're just going to make sure everything is grouped up. So Command G. Okay. And then when it comes to our 3D and materials option here, let's make sure an object is the first uh, option to uh, select. And then we're going to say inflate. Fantastic. I'm going to come and choose my preset uh, rotations to isometric top. Fabulous. And I'm going to affect the depth here just a tad. Like so. And also we're going to affect the volume just a tad as well, just so that we can get it perfect. Okay. 
And same side process again, let's render it, okay? And you can see when you start rendering and applying the ray tracing to it, look, can you see how this really picks up the realism of it, okay? And then yet again, we're gonna go back to materials. I'm gonna change the roughness here to 0 0.13. And we're gonna go back to lighting. Sometimes, like I say, it takes a bit of time for Illustrator to work it out. And this is exactly the same options here. All right, what we're gonna do now is change the uh, rotation to minus 63. Fabulous. And we're gonna come here to the softness and we're gonna turn this to 55. Don't worry about it if it's not cleared up. Sometimes it takes a bit of time for it to, to work out and catch up, okay? And yet again, what we're gonna do now is apply some shadowing effect to it, like so. So let's turn that on. And we're gonna change the shadow bounds here to the same number as what we changed it before, which is 295. Like so. Yet again, it may take a little bit of time and a couple of seconds for it to work it out and, and apply the ray tracing you get the result in the end. Okay, such an impressive tool. And can you see that I've not done a lot of tools and work to create these 3D elements, okay? So there we have that one now, let's say, okay? And then as you saw earlier, what I did was I duplicated that uh, green ellipse just to create a um, wasabi. Uh, for my sushi, obviously, you can't have sushi without any wasabi. So, yet again, I'm going to do exactly the same process with the wasabi, okay? So, I'm going to select that. What we're going to do is come to object. We're going to inflate it, okay? We're going to use the isometric top angle, like so, rotation. I'm then going to affect the depth a tad. No, I'll probably bring the depth down. I think probably would be best. Nice. Let's affect the volume just a tad there. Wonderful. And yet again, I want to go to apply the ray tracing, first of all. And then what we're going to do now is come to materials. Let's change the roughness to 0 0.13. Let's go to lighting. Let's change this to 0 0.63, that's right, minus 63. And the softness here, 55. And we've got our shadow bounds here. Let's turn it on as always. And we're going to change the shadow bounds to 295. So, and yet again, let's give it a couple of seconds for it to work it out. And there we have it. What I want to do now is probably duplicate our friend here, just a tad here. Let's get another one in there, let's say, um, using the shortcut option on the Mac or Alt on Windows. And there you have it, guys. That's how you create a 3D element using the 3D tool in Illustrator. And that is how you create cool looking sushi ideas. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, our courses, the school, our teachers, please don't hesitate in visiting our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, what you can do is take a look at our uh, Instagram for some of our amazing work by really talented students at Blue Sky Graphics UK. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and I'll see you next time.